What's up everybody and welcome to a brand new video and today we are finally moving into the new non-smelly apartment. Right now we're gonna meet up with the Thai realtor guy and he said that the AC is fixed. Can't wait to show you this. It's gonna be awesome. Finally we could start doing what we planned because the plans are to get Thai driver's license, work on a US visa, continue making videos, just a lot and a lot of things to do. And a lot of you said that riding a scooter is dangerous in Thailand and I agree with you. So maybe we'll buy ourselves a very, very cheap car to drive around Thailand and to explore it even more. So guys, here is the apartment that doesn't smell like sewage. Looks very nice. We're gonna do a quick tour because we're running out from here. We've got a table. We got a view, we got the best realtor in Pattaya. <laughs> so let's go and get some face ID done. So I just had to let the cleaners into the apartment that we're gonna move in so that they could get rid of the dust and stuff like that. And uh, well, the owner pays for it, so whatever. <laughs> I mean, nothing better than some free cleaning of the apartment, which is good. But the bad thing is, is that the office here removed my face ID from the floor that we're in right now and I can only go to the new floor which means that I'm stuck downstairs I could either go to the new floor or stay down here so now I gotta wait for the realtor guy to go back into the room where we still have not packed because two hours are gonna be cleaning also we're gonna be meeting up with Vladimir himself today which is awesome so we're gonna see how it works out. So guys, our apartment got clean and now we're gonna go and check it out. Well guys, everything is cleaned up. Here's our new home. Oh, look at that view. Looking good. Well, the cleaning is done well, so we're gonna be moving into the apartment tonight, but first, we got to meet up with Vladimir because he's going to be leaving uh, tomorrow and this is probably the only day we're going to be able to meet each other and it's been a very long time since we've seen each other. It's been a year. So right now I'm waiting outside for him, for him to come and then we're going to grab a bit of food and chat because we haven't seen each other for a very, very long time. Well, 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 <laughs> guys, you won't believe who we met in Pattaya, the man himself, <laughs> Vladimir. <laughs> uh, hi everybody, uh, I'm so happy to meet my friends here and uh, well it's my pleasure to say hello to all of you. Yeah, one uh, year here. everybody didn't see you. Yeah, exactly one yeah. year. Yeah. So he's back but only for two days and maybe soon enough we'll see each other again. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Maybe here, maybe in Dubai but... Uh, yeah, because he lives in Dubai. So if you yes. want to find them, <laughs> you'll find them in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> or, or in Pattaya. Yeah, or in Pattaya. We're going to show Vladimir our apartment now to see what he thinks about it. So we're finally on the move from our room. And uh, we're going to take, first of all, the best realtor in Thailand. And we're going to take this thing and bring all our stuff now. Goodbye, smelly apartment. It's been nice living here. <laughs> Panchik is very interested in the washing machine. He is trying to figure out what is it doing. We finally have moved in to the apartment. We have finally unpacked everything. And now we are off to bed, but we are going to make this into a two day video because finally we can actually relax a little bit i am happy to announce that we have finally moved in into the smelly stinky free room which is amazing i mean apartment so the realtor guy actually held up to his word he said that he's going to change the apartment he's going to get it sorted out a lot of you guys said that it's near impossible to do in thailand but I'm guessing that I'm just lucky that we had such an awesome realtor guy who got everything sorted out. So here's a little on the apartment. We got Pichenka chilling out over here. And 
We got the view of the city, some villas. We could be looking at somebody's villa, somebody's sun tanning. You could see some buildings are being built. You could also see the sea, which is nice. So this apartment is a bit bigger than the other one, but it doesn't smell like sewage, which is a big plus side to it. And here's our room. But I'm not going to record inside because somebody's getting stuff done in there. Now, what really makes me happy is this table. And you might be wondering why. Ivan, why would a table make you so happy? Well, because I could actually sit down at a table, edit the videos on the laptop, and the most important is actually do some live streams. So from this video from five days, I should have internet in this apartment and I really hope I do. And then we could finally start live streaming every so now and then so we could actually chat to you guys. So if you didn't even know that I do live streams and I talk to every single one of you, you might as well press the subscribe button, the like button to enjoy the journey. Now, my next plans while we're in Thailand is to change my Russian driver's license into Thai driver's license so that I would actually be able to drive a car here. Scooter looks dangerous. Everyone I see has a car crash, scooter accident, whatever. So I think it's better to buy a very, very cheap car and drive around the place. And the car culture is massive here. So that is the plan. Also, I might even open a Thai bank account because you can never have enough bank accounts when you have a Russian passport. You have to have bank accounts from all over the place. Anyways, let's get going with our day. We're going to meet up with Vladimir today as well. Once again, he's leaving to Dubai tomorrow. Let's get this day going. Guys, I found something really, really weird. I was looking and I accidentally found this and I was like, why is this written in Russian? This is a store right now, right? It's made in Moscow, Oblast. What the heck? Why is this for sale here? Some Russian produce in a shopping mall. That's really weird. I'm surprised to see something like this here. Well, the shopping mall is so random. You could see this guy right here. He's making slippers for sale right here. Look at this. So somebody ordered some slippers and he is building them for like 300 baht. Look at that. Your own custom slippers in like 20 minutes or even less. Oh, this is pretty cool. So somebody ordered a 41 size slippers. He's gonna work on them now, do something about it. Apparently it's like really comfortable slippers as well. So the people are choosing what color soles they want and they choose all the colors they want themselves. You can kind of record a little bit on how it looks like. So people are asking for stars or something like that. So it's fully custom slippers that you get at the end of the day. This is actually quite interesting. I've never seen slippers being built on order like this. It's pretty cool. So you can see he has like this special machine that gets the actual slipper side inside. I actually can't see this as well as you can guys, but um, looks like he's trimming a little bit, a little bit to make it a bit more perfect. So he's checking the slippers, removing all the unnecessary rubbers on it. And now he's gonna put those things on. I always wondered how they made them look, bam. Just a few seconds. And here you are. You got yourself some slippers. First time I saw anybody come into a store and they just order themselves whatever color slippers they need or anything like that. And it gets done in a few minutes for like 200 baht. We're exploring the shopping mall and I see this. And the next thing I see is this dog right here is ripping some guy's pants off. Wow. I wonder if we could see his bum crack. Nope, no bum cracks, but this looks like a dangerous situation if you ask me. What you macaroni? You wouldn't want to be in a situation when the dog is trying to bite half your butt off. I have no idea what we're doing. We were supposed to meet up with Vladimir and he's a bit busy. 
And I was trying to find Evelina and she's already going down without even waiting for me. See her right there. Evelina has found some fans you could use like this. And it blows the cool air into your face. This is actually pretty cool. Well guys, we are finally back home. And I wanted to tell you a story. The story about us moving, about Vladimir and everything. First of all, I would like to say a big thanks to the realtor, which his name is Teo. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, bro, if I'm not pronouncing it right, but I really, truly appreciate your effort in helping us out, uh, sorting out the apartment. A lot of people were in disbelief that it's going to be possible to do such a thing. I really, truly appreciate it. And I know that you're watching this video. Thank you very much much also today we have met up with vladimir didn't really record much because we kind of met up just talked around he's leaving tomorrow and we haven't seen each other for a very long time so i didn't really record much of it even if i did record there would be nothing of interest now a lot of people we're saying, Ivan, when are you going to be having live streams? Hopefully on Tuesday, we will have some people come in and install internet. So once internet is installed, we're going to start doing live streams more often. Second of all, you know, there's a lot of people in uh, different countries saying that, oh yeah, you're, you're trying to find freedom. You're trying to do this. You're trying to do that. But Russia is the mega free world where you can stay. Actually, no. And uh, if you guys live in a box and you don't even know what is going on around the world and in Russia in particular, I will give you some examples of some news that are actually posted by the state media and also by other different sources. Do you guys think that this is normal? And this is one of the biggest reasons I left Russia as well because I know if somebody would have snitched on me I would have got into trouble and probably have an even worse faith than the guy I'm going to be talking about. I'm literally going to read this out to you guys so you would understand how bad the situation is really in Russia at this moment. In St. Petersburg, a technician from the Institute of Nuclear Physics was arrested in a case of fakes, who reposted a video from a German publication about the course of military operations in Ukraine. 48-year-old Dmitry Bogmut from the Institute of Nuclear Physics, Konstantinov, according to the investigators, for three months in 2023, distributed posts on a certain website, I don't know why that was in quotations, with allegedly false information about Russia's actions in Ukraine. So according to the court, he posted a video called Attack on Pavlograd. This is a five-minute overview video from the Deutsche Welle, which was released in May 2023. An examination showed that it contained fake information. Yesterday, Bogut was charged Bogut did not express his opinion about him, but at the trial, he asked to be released under a ban on certain actions. As a result, the man was arrested until June 3rd. He's recognized as a foreign agent in the Russian Federation now. But what I wanted to say is, this person didn't even say himself anything about the situation. What basically happened is, he reposted on some certain website an article or a video that Deutsche Welle made and he got in trouble for that. He is in prison right now waiting for trial. So how could you say that that is a way to live in a free world? In a, in a, in a country where LGBT is considered the exact same as terrorism? I don't know, guys. This is crazy. In a country where they put those two things together and where you post something from the West anywhere else and you're a Russian citizen, you could be charged and put in prison. Imagine what would happen to me if I was there and they would have 
found out about the channel. It's really just a matter of time since, you know, somebody will find out about my channel. It goes up somewhere and they're going to start trying to find where I live, blah, blah, blah. In Russia, I mean, obviously, I feel safer here, but, you know, you get that sense that uh, if you say something wrong, they could come after you wherever you are. So I really hope that soon enough, I will actually figure out a way to get to the United States. We are finally settled in in Thailand. We got an apartment. We got to rent it out. Doesn't smell like crap anymore. So now we can really focus on YouTube, USA, and living life without being scared that somebody's gonna pull you over and say, Sanction Ivan, it's time for you to go to Siberia. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this video. I really appreciate your love, your support, your likes, your subscriptions, your comments. I read through every single comment and I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Have an amazing day, evening, morning, whatever you're having right now. And I will see you next video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm so glad that we can finally get back into making some content for you guys. See you later.